Okay, and the other two uh, for airway clearance, this is the talk that needs to are when the cough is ineffective and unproductive due to muscle weakness. Um, this one I'm, act I'm not actually going to form on them because it's like the Heimlich, but you would um, basically just take your hands to the upper abdominal area here and provide a, a superior thrust so that they can cough out then. A brisk superior inward force. That is one thing because I don't want anyone injured in class that will not ask you to do a lot of stuff. And the other one is called a splint technique to decrease pain. And it's a protective coughing while sitting on a chair that has a back to it. And they place the pillow on your stomach and hold that there. And then they just use that to protect themselves and have a cough. Then. And just make sure that you instruct the patient why that pillow is there. <coughs> so it's used to protect the... Sure, it's like if, let's say she just had a hernia operate on her, and had just had a, did you have a C-section? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so you're putting the pillow there to support or split the area so nothing comes ripping open when you're coughing. Did they, do they do it for like open heart surgeries? Yes. Okay. okay. So they give you a heart well. pillow? Yes. Right? Exactly. And then you put same it. thing. Okay. Same idea. So you the area so it doesn't go up when you're trying to, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know, this way it's... <coughs> right. Yes. And, and the more we explain to our patients, the more they will probably listen to us and do what we ask them to do. <coughs> Instead of, so, you know, we don't want our patients thinking, oh, listen, Stephen, I'm not carrying this. <laughs> but so the first time they went, ow, my stitches ripped open. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Then we have, that's it for you guys, right?